Hey guys, I got a question about the lab in the PC-12, so I thought I would show you how it works. Picture from outside the airplane here, standing at the base of the stairs. If you come straight up the stairs, right here is the lavatory. And this has two sets of doors that open up and make this a fully enclosed space. So I'll show you a couple pictures here. This is what it looks like when the doors are opened and you've got the lab fully enclosed. So this first door here opens up this direction and it catches a magnet on this wall to close off the entryway to the crew compartment. And then once that door is open, another door is exposed that's hinged on the other side. So it opens up this direction and it'll catch a magnet on this wall. And what you end up with is this. So it is fully enclosed and there's actually another smaller door right here that's hinged right here, as you can see in this will uh, fold open to latch right over here and make the space fully enclosed and private. So the toilet's here with the seat up, it looks like that. You've got a little toilet paper holder down here and there's a drawer down below where you can keep, you know, hand sanitizer, spare rolls of TP, whatever you need in there. And then a couple of buttons right here. One is a light and one is for flush. And uh, there's also an oxygen mask in the lavatory because there, there has to be. The compressions can happen at any time. So you've got to have a mask in there in case somebody's in there doing their business. Uh, they've got to be able to have access to a mask as well. So there's the light up there. <clears throat> um, the lab is not obviously very big, but it's certainly big enough to use comfortably. I've used it several times um, without any problem and I'm six feet tall. So uh, it's not a big space. You do have to kind of kneel down in there, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's, it's there if you need it. So it doesn't get used a whole lot. Uh, except for on longer legs or if people are drinking a bunch of booze in the back, it, it will get used. And it is the honeypot system, which means uh, the lab is not externally serviced, unfortunately. So there's just basically a bucket. There's really nothing too fancy about the system at all. This uh, section of the seat here can fold up and expose the bucket underneath. And the bucket has a lid that you can screw onto it and then some handles that come up. And if the lab gets used and it needs to be serviced, you just lift the seat up, put the lid on, take that bucket out, and then hand it to the line guys. They go dump it, they'll rinse it out, put some new blue juice in it, which is uh, the antiseptic fluid that goes in there. And then you bring it back, you put it in, and then put the seat down, and that's basically all there is to it. Of course, you wanna you know, sanitize everything else, spray it down with some Lysol or cleaning agent, uh, wipe it out, all that stuff. Um, and just keep everything nice and sanitary in there. Uh, but it's a pretty simple system. So there is a little reservoir down in there that will fill up with blue juice and there is an electric flush. So when you push that button to flush, um, it will actually send some blue juice down through the bowl there uh, and just into that bucket below. Uh, so, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It's got everything you need. Um, in an emergency situation. <laughs> There's a little mirror in there. There's a coat hanger, everything you need. So um, it doesn't get used a whole lot, but on occasion it does. And uh, a lot of larger aircraft jets and things will have externally serviced labs where the line service guys can just hook up a hose to the lab and open up some valves and, and the lab will be dumped straight into the truck that way. So you're not carrying around this bucket, uh, which is certainly probably the, the least glamorous aspect of, uh, of the job flying the PC-12 around, but, uh, you know, you got to do it. So anyway, thanks for the question, guys. Uh, please leave me your questions in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.